and welcome to the kitchen of Chef Mark. Today we're making a slow cooked pot roast. Last night we went to Whole Foods and we got a two and a half pound chuck roast. Then this morning, woke up at seven o'clock, we seasoned it, we seared it, and we put it in the crock pot and there it will cook for about the next 10 hours. It's going to be delicious. So stick around and we'll show you how we make it. Let's get out our crock pot. We will put a light coat of olive oil on the inside and turn the crock pot onto the low setting. Take the pot roast and put it onto a plate. Pour some extra virgin olive oil on the meat, then season it with a generous amount of sea salt and fresh ground pepper. Now put some of the extra virgin olive oil in a heavy duty stainless steel pan and bring the heat up to medium high. We want to sear the roast for at least three minutes per side. This will really help boost the flavor of the meat. Add in the stew meat and sear it on all sides too. The stew meat is optional, but it was nice and lean and I wanted to experiment with about a half a pound to see how it would hold up in the crock pot. After three minutes, we will turn the roast over and sear the other side. Look how nice and brown the roast is. We'll turn over the stew meat too. Now let's make sure all sides of the roast are seared too. And once all the sides of the roast are seared, we will put the roast into the crock pot. Next, we will get our potatoes ready. I have about a pound of Yukon Gold potatoes, which we will use for mashed potatoes. And once they're all peeled, we'll put them in cold water so that they don't get brown. We have three large red potatoes that we will slice and use for the pot roast. Put the sliced potatoes on top of the roast and then put the lid back on the crock pot. Now take a large onion. I'm using a Vidalia onion, but you can use any onion that you want. Peel the onion and slice the onion into large dices. Put the diced onion into the pot on top of the roast and the potatoes and then put the lid back on top of the crock pot. Next, we have three organic carrots. They were washed, but not peeled. Remove the ends and chop into large pieces. I'm placing the carrots into the crock pot by hand because they tend to want to roll off the cutting board. I'll put the carrots toward the edge of the crock pot because I want them to fall into the broth as the pot roast cooks. Then put the lid back onto the crock pot. Our final vegetable is celery. Wash and clean about four or five stalks and cut them into medium dices. Add the diced celery to the crock pot and then put the lid back on. Time to make our broth. Now some pot roast recipes call for water, but I don't like plain water because there's no flavor in water. My favorite way to make stock is to use better than bouillon. It's made from vegetables and meat. Don't use those square cubes if you can help it. They're almost entirely made of salt. Pour in one cup of the broth and place the lid back on. Next, we will add two ounces of Natalie's squeezed fresh lemon juice. This will add a nice zing to the roast and enhance the flavor of the sauce that it's making. Place the lid back onto the crock pot. Some pot roast recipes call for you to add in one envelope of onion soup mix, but let's make our own. In a small ramekin, add a quarter teaspoon each of celery seed, pepper, sugar, and paprika, and three quarters of a cup of dried minced onion. Pour the seasoning over the pot roast and vegetables, making sure that it is spread out evenly. Then put the lid back onto the crock pot. Give the vegetables a nice stir so that everything is coated with the seasoning and that's it. Now we'll cover and we'll seal the crock pot and allow the roast to cook for 10 hours. And now it's time to get our mashed potatoes ready. Take the Yukon Gold potatoes out of the refrigerator, dice them into small dices, and put them into a pot of salted boiling water for about 40 minutes. Once the potatoes are cooked, we'll drain them and put them back into the pot. Now we'll get our seasoning for the potatoes ready. We're gonna use salt, 
pepper, sour cream, four ounces of cream cheese, and a half a stick of butter. Now let's add in the butter, the sour cream, and the cream cheese. Now the cream cheese will help keep the potatoes nice and thick. Using a fork, let's mix everything together so that the potatoes stay nice and thick and lumpy. And now it's time to serve. Look at that delicious pot roast. The meat is fork tender. Mm-mm. And there it is, our delicious pot roast with broccoli and mashed potatoes. Until next time, bon appetit.